Good morning, everybody. It's Della with EXP Realty. I'm out here today. It's already getting a little warm, but I'm going to take you out in my newest golf cart from Ocala Golf Cart Sponsored. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is one of their easy go models. And I'm here at the town square on top of the world, and we're going to start a new golf cart path video because there is a whole bunch of things that have changed. I'm also wanting to correct some information that I'm hearing wrong out there. But anyway, come take a tour with me and we're going to check out Stone Creek and all the new stuff going on. Hair up, hair down. Got to have the hair up when going in the golf cart. I'm going to turn around here and we're going to kind of just pan around to a little bit of the town square. That's is where I am. And again, in case I haven't told you guys, but I've probably been touring with you, you're going to see all these really cool horses all around Marion County. Um, if they say if you find them all, you've seen all of Marion County. I have not found them all. Here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can start seeing everything. And remember, there's going to be some wind. So I know all the comments, but I kind of like the wind. <laughs> okay, I'm getting on the golf cart path from the town square. It feels really good in the shade. I'm not going to video the entire tour, but I'm going to at least give you the highlights of where we're going and the fact how cool it is to be able to travel outside of these communities, whether it's Stone Creek or on top of the world, and go to so many things. Most of you have seen my Street Plaza golf cart tour, and for those of you that have toured with me already, this will probably look really familiar. So we're coming up to the light here on 80th, and then we're going to tool down the road. So this golf cart path is for walking, golf carting, biking, and we're just kind of leaving the town square and on top of the world. And you're going to notice up here on your left hand side is the Thousand Acre Cattle Ranch that's kind of nestled in between on top of the world and Stone Creek. And yeah, there's a whole story about that. So they're out here mowing and doing. So you can see how close it is and I think that at some point they're going to have to address having a golf cart crosswalk to get onto this golf cart path but don't quote me on that. I think that would be a really cool idea. you have to be looking out for cars. Now, I did hear a little misinformation about the size of this park. It is actually 44 acres of botanical beauty. No dogs allowed. It's absolutely beautiful in here. And like I said, in the shade, it feels really nice. I can't say enough about how pretty it is here. There's so much to do along the year. They have events at this Shalom Park, but there's a gazebo kind of to the left of me where you can actually feed the big giant goldfish. 
Uh, they also have yoga and Tai Chi in the park every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. I'm going to float around and try to show you a couple more things around here, and then we're going to golf cart right over to Stone Creek. This place is so beautiful. It looks like I came on a landscape day, so you might hear some saws and mowing in the background, but I just kind of wanted to pan around and just show you how beautiful some of this is. There is miles of walking trails, and like I said, it's 44 acres of botanical beauty. People get married here. Uh, I have to laugh because I also see realtors like myself come and take their pictures here. Uh, they have restrooms, and there's all kinds of these cute little benches along the way. So when you're walking in here, it's fun to bring a backpack so you can stop, maybe eat some lunch. Uh, but they have this really nice gazebo. And then they, very in the background, they have a big band area where people come out and do bands. That's where they kind of set them up. There's a bat house here. But just want to give you a real quick glance again of Shalom Park, if you've never been here. And it's all golf cart accessible to On Top of the World and Stone Creek. Behind me is the Community Bulletin Board. Uh, for those who have toured with me know that I give a VIP tour. I kind of show everything. But they have these nice brochures that we make sure and stop and get. But behind me, you can see they have this park in the dark thing that goes on a few times a year. How cool to come to a park and it be dark and you get to eat food and hear music. So there's lots of cool things. And they have a bat house here. The map is really, really cool. It gives you um, a lot of insight and all the mapping of all the walking and fun things to do around here. Anyway, I might do a little video zooming out of here, but um, this is a nice, cute little quick view of Shalom Park. Okay, I'm exiting out of Shalom Park. Again, just lots of beautiful woods. I honestly would say it's 10 degrees cooler in the shade. So here in the middle of summer, you can still come in here and walk and enjoy it. And don't forget, they do not allow dogs in here, but that's okay. We have plenty of other places for dogs. All right, as soon as I get back on the golf cart path, I will be doing a little bit of videoing uh, headed to Stone Creek. Township, which is a um, NEH community going in. Now, the really cool thing about this golf cart path, and if you really like Stone Creek and privacy, this is awesome. It's off the beaten path a little bit. You're going to go back about a mile before you actually get to the main entrance. But it's so pretty. This is a perfect idea to walk, ride, or golf cart. On the other side of the street, they have a sidewalk. I don't think it's perfectly safe to be walking on the same side where golf carters and bikers go, so they kept that sidewalk open for you.
right, I'm at the entrance of Stone Creek, and of course they have beautiful entrances. All Del Webbs have them. I love it out here because this is actually the smallest Del Webb community they have, but it actually has the largest pool. I'm going to give some updated drone because I want to show you some areas of the new construction going on. And yes, it is warm, but I'm out here melting for you guys because I want you to kind of get the boots on the ground experience instead of just the same old, same old. But come check this out. Again, they have beautiful entrances. All Del Webb tapped them. All right, guys, I can't wait for you to come see this and come visit with me so I can take you around and see all these fantastic communities. This is the patio area of their restaurant. It's called The Grill. It's an on-property restaurant, of course, and it's open to the public, as well as the one is it on top of the world. They want people to come here. They want you to come visit. But gosh, when the weather is nice, it is great to sit out here. During the fall and winter time, they have nice fire pits and things that go on out here. I'm just gonna pan around a little bit so you can see the golf course is kind of behind me. But very pretty, and it's all accessible to golf carts, of course. And again, this is the club. Great food. I've never had a bad meal here. Love it. Reflection Bay, which is where all of their fitness centers, their clubhouses, and everything. Now, they've got a lot of construction going on, so I kind of wanted to drive around it, see how far I can get, so you can see what's going on here. I've heard this should be done maybe early next year for spring. So 
here is a photograph. They've got these great banners up so you can kind of see what's going in here. They've got a new clubhouse. So right now they only have about three billiard tables, so there's going to be more. They're doing some kind of golf simulation for your golfers. That should be cool. They're building their own amphitheater, shuffleboard, cornhole, and there's going to be this beautiful outdoor grilling area. And this new amenity campus coming soon. I have no idea what that is, but I'm going to find out. But I wonder if it's kind of like something mastered with the possibilities over at Oto's Town Square, which is also open to the public. But just to get an idea of the size of this, so this community is growing. And again, they're going to max out at 3,800 homes, but that's still going to be more people and more homes than they have right now. I love looking at new construction. This is going to be a new adventure for the folks that are here and people that are moving here. I have about seven people right now that are building here. Some of them are actually renting it on top of the world. Very nice, though. It's kind of exciting when something new goes in. I'm just going to breeze to the outside because you guys have already seen so much of the fitness centers. You know what the pools look like. You know what the saunas look like. Now remember, Stone Creek is a younger community, so it looks newer and definitely has a lot of stone. But in this area, Reflection Bay, this is where all the amenities are. This is where your uh, shuffleboard, your pickleball, baseball, gardening, everything is here. That's one thing nice about a community that's still building. You get newer amenities that are coming and you never know when or you never know what, but it, you know it's coming. So I'm just going to kind of pan around here. You can probably see some of the community gardens. I think I hear some pickleballers now. Lots of people out there playing pickleball. Now they have a great dog park here. What I love about this dog park is that it has an agility course. Hello. Hello. So inside there's, and of course they have water and all kinds of cool things for your dog, but they have an agility course in there. I think that's really cute. All right, this was a really cool look at Reflection Bay. Now I'm going to drive through some of the communities, new construction, and pre-owned home areas. So hang tight. I've left Reflection Bay and now I'm going to head into this really cute community called Nottingham. Now what's cute about Nottingham, it's mostly there are villas, but they're very large in size. I have a couple right now that are getting ready to close in a couple weeks and I'm going to swing by their villa. Hi Todd and Jamie. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. So we're just gonna kind of cruise by their house, but I just kind of want to show you, they've almost finished building in this adorable community. But I wanted you to get a look like, this is kind of in between new build and pre-owned. Nothing that I know is for sale in here, except one I think it already sold. So they don't come often. For our villa section, lots are nice size.
everything's looking good. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, this little community of Nottingham is almost finished. And I know Todd and Jamie will be so happy. This is the golf cart path to be on. I'll show you mine here in a minute. So we're headed to some really new construction. Lots that probably haven't been released yet. But we're also going to see some of the backside of the amenities over here. I'll slow down a little bit. So back there you got basketball. you got the softball field. You can see the community gardens. This turned out to be a really beautiful day. The best part of this golf cart path is this gorgeous lake. Now, a lot of folks like to come out here and just bring their chairs and sit. It actually has that pier that you get to go out and do some fishing on. Look at that view. Woo! That is pretty. There are some lots coming up available on the back side of that. We'll take a look. We'll just breeze by there for a minute. Just know it's going to be a little noisy with construction and everything. We're going into this little community called Bridalwood. I shouldn't say little, it's pretty big. I love that the golf cart path goes kind of down the side, but I'm going to get off the path and go kind of onto the neighborhood area. available that faces that beautiful lake part of the golf course so they've got a few down here that's available if you like a view this is some great great property and you can see the back side of them building that new clubhouse but what have you guys there just aren't too many communities in Ocala that actually have these kind of views. On top of the world has no water. So if you like water, this is a great place to live. And they have lots available right now, which to my knowledge, on top of the world won't have any until January. And be careful of this reservation thing. Call me for more information on that. But up here, they've got some lots available. Oh, just love it. I won't lie, they're expensive. I would say some of these lots are expensive, but I don't price because they change all the time. So you've got a house going up right here. So lots on the left, these are going to be their back-to-back, -back, but gosh, there's large spaces in between their homes. Uh, this lot looks like it just sold. So all of these over here have sold. See how fast they go. Now I'm going to crowds around here in some of the newer lots. Some have been released, some have not, but this is all future bill. Please remember there is no gas, no natural gas here at Stone Creek, but you can propane a cooktop. As far as the eye can see, that's new construction going in. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can get a better view. So there's gonna be lots of choices, whether you're ready now or you're ready next year, two years. But just remember, prices are not gonna go down. They're gonna to continue to go up. 
So just keep that in mind. If you can buy now and invest, that's perfect. to pan over a lot of new construction going over there back towards the golf course so the lots that I'm getting ready to show you are golf course views and out here these are some of the prettiest ones in my opinion so you've got some lots all along the side here not only that some of them have a wooded view lots of woods here in Stone Creek too just love it I'm going to actually jump out and take a look at this lot so you can just get a better idea of this one. Okay, I can't tell the lot number, but if you were interested in it, you can let me know. But I'm just going to kind of walk it. No high heel wearing here. <laughs> this is going to be an absolutely beautiful view. So I'm kind of walking straight out to this lot. This would be about where your lanai is. So this would be your view. Wow. Look at that. Now there is a beautiful pond, lake, whatever you want to call it, water source over here. So if you want lots with the views, Stone Creek has them right along the golf course. Now people ask me, Della, do you get balls hit on your house? I would imagine most people know how to play golf, that golf in these places, but yeah, you might get an occasional one, but I've never heard any complaints about it. And I'm going to swing around and kind of walk back. So this lot over here is also available and they've got a lot available going across the street and around. So when your driveway is out, you are not looking, if you purchase this lot, you're not looking smack dab at the side of a, in front of the house, you're looking at the side of their house. So those are what back-to-backs look like. They put all of this viburnum and pine trees up. So it builds a nice barrier in between you and the other home and you still have some yard to work with. All right, now we're gonna go check out some pre-owned areas. Okay, this is one of my favorite communities here. It's called Longleaf. Yes, there is a long leaf and on top of the world too, but this is the one at Stone Creek. This is a community that's fairly new. I would say maybe five to seven years old because you can tell by the trees. But what's so really pretty about these homes is on this side of the road, their view is a cattle farm. And it's that cattle farm that we kind of came in on. It's all kind of connecting the communities together, which is really pretty. These homes are absolutely beautiful. Every once in a while, these come up for sale, but I just kind of 
know if I can squeeze it and zoom in so you can kind of see the back of the properties are these beautiful cattle farm views. So if one does come available, I'll go slow here so you can get a little better look at some of these homes. Stone Creek, they do this cool thing where they do allow you to screen in your front porch area. They do not allow that on top of the world. I kind of like that they allow you to do that here. But just look at that beautiful view. Way in the back, you can see the pretty cattle farm. These homes are absolutely gorgeous. This is a beautiful community. We're also gonna go through another pre-owned area that's a little bit older. Remember, this community is only like 16 years old. They started in 06. You have maintenance-free and non-maintenance-free, but I will tell you the maintenance-free here at Stone Creek gives you a lot more than on top of the world. We can give you that list if you're interested. But just an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. I'm going to try to get one more shot of that beautiful cattle farm that's back there. So boy, these folks have great views. And again, you can see how they can uh, screen in their front porch area. right on the bend has a really great view. If this house came up for sale, I'd buy it. <laughs> but it has a really nice view of the cattle farm and a little bit of woods back here, which is really pretty. So they have a little bit of a backyard area with the woods. So here's how they have their mailboxes. They have them distributed out to the neighborhood. There's a few boxes attached for each resident. So they have about six or seven right alongside the road. day to do some cart riding and videoing. We're going into Arlington. Now if you'll notice how much the trees and things have grown, this is a community that I believe started in 06. So if you get a pre-owned home here, gorgeous. They've got a nice pond over here. All of them are stocked with fish. just going to cruise down some of these streets so you can look at some of the pre-owned neighborhood look here in Arlington. favorite houses here in the corner. 
very pretty how they've kind of made their own little oasis in their backyard and those are what the back-to-backs look like so they're not on top of each other by any means corner lots are awesome if you can get them you get a lot more land bigger yards These folks are backing that pond that we came in on. This will give you an idea of what the homes that are back-to-backs, I mean, these have a lot of space. Uh, they do allow you to have iron fencing for your dog, and a lot of people are into these fire pits now, which the HOA does allow. That's a wrap here today at Dollar Corner. Thanks for checking out Stone Creek with me today at ground level. And it is really different seeing it from your golf cart. I really had a good time today. We got to see some lots available, some new build construction areas and pre-owned home areas. It's a lot different than seeing it from the air. And keep in mind, coming in the fall and winter, I do give golf cart tours of these communities. If the weather's really nice, it is a lot of fun. I enjoyed going back through Shalom Park and kind of showing you where some of these other communities as they're related to on top of the world, Stone Creek, Lennar. So there is a ton of choices for you folks. It just depends on your price point, what you want to pay in an HOA. We've got it all here. So please make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe so I can keep you posted as to when newer videos are coming because they are. And I look forward to talking to you in the future and let's schedule a visit. Take care, everybody.